Hey guys, this is Cat's Beef Tape, and today you join me for another episode of Fighter Jet Showdown. And yes, we have a couple of jets right here. The first one, well, the first two that will be going up are these. And this is the FF-108 Rapier, which comes to me from Kobe. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It looks sort of near future. I think it's mostly because these tail fins are pointed forward, which just looks really nice. And then, um, yeah, the wings are quite compressed. It's quite small. A small fighter has proved to be uh, very successful in the past. Um, but yeah, it's I, I just quite like it. And it will be going up against the S32C, which comes to me from the Nate Hacker. And apparently is a conceptual um, aircraft from uh, the Ace Combat games, which I've never played, but I have heard of. And uh, yeah, so this is this is pretty cool. It does look fairly unconventional as well, I mean, a conceptual aircraft. Um, and it just looks quite nice. It has this three engine set up because apparently it has drag issues. And I imagine that's because it's got this kind of beautiful body built out of these um, scaled down uh, liquid fuel fuselages, which yeah, look really cool. Anyway, let's just get these in the air though um, and start the fight. Yes, uh, so uh, these will go up and fight. We're doing our bracket again, of course. If you didn't see the first episode, go watch it. But, um, oh, thank you, Java Update, for being super loud. Um, <laughs> no, but yes, we'll be using a bracket system again. Because um, in the first uh, series, I did a kind of just sort of fairly dumb system. But, uh, yeah, we're using a bracket. Um, so, yeah, these are going to go up, get into position. These guys kind of flip over weirdly, but I'm sure they'll be... That guy's spun out, that's not ideal. Will he regain control? Who knows? Um, hmm, not a great start? <laughs> yeah, he's gaining control, but he's quite low down. Um, yeah, I was gonna say that I actually am slowly working through the backlog of uh, craft. So there's some that I've been sent in the last couple of weeks, and some that I got sent before season two even started, because I just have so many. Uh, yeah, this guy's having real trouble. I, I don't think he is long for this world, I mean, I, um, I don't know, maybe this will help them somehow, but I'm feeling like, oh, yeah, we've actually already started engaging. We've got missiles coming in. This guy over here is actually heading towards them, might get a missile away, but it looks like the uh, rapiers have just been more controllable. I haven't actually been watching them, but uh, they seem to be more controllable, seem to be uh, doing well, um, and might just, uh, might just win this based on the uh, kind of sort of Un unpredictability of the S-32s, uh, but yeah, they seem to be dodging quite well. Looks like this guy's getting some fire in. Um, ooh, where's his target? Ooh, almost hit the ground, almost got hit by a missile by the other one. Ooh, they're coming back into it. Um, oh! One of the rapiers just got hit, I imagine, by a missile, but holy crap, I didn't actually expect that. Uh, that guy flips out just as he gets on his tail, just kind of flips out and bails. <laughs> okay. Well, it's unconventional, but it seems to be working. It's two on one now. Random explosion there. I think something must have hit the ground. This guy's just running away now. He's like, these guys are fucking crazy. He's just getting out of here. Seriously, you should turn and fight, though. Oh, he is good. Yeah, he's actually listening to me. Apparently, I have Mike. Um, my Mike, uh, you know, tapped into the game, talking to the pilot, who is... Hadvan Kerbin? Kerman? Um, yeah, he's, he's running, and this guy's trying to chase him, but he just... Oh! Oh, that was so close. Jesus Christ. This guy's really on the ropes. These guys, unconventional, you know, flipping around. Can't keep chased because they keep flipping out, but it's working. Oh, he's flipped out. He's fucked now. And, oh, looks like he's going to light him up. And he does. Now it's one-on-one. -on -one. The flipping out only worked for a while. Flies th through the debris beautifully and dives down onto the other one, sweeping him up with beautiful efficiency. Those two kills just... Really, ooh, almost got shot and almost hit the ground, but he's okay. That was beautifully efficient. Um, <laughs> those S32s, really cool, just too unstable though. Um, and this guy just clearly a very good fighter. So anyway, let's move on to the next two. So the next craft that will be going up will be the C7 KPW 37 Tiger from Maxwell. And they're pretty cool, sticking with the kind of unconventional aircraft design underslung engines, just a big flying wing, well, a small flying wing, basically, and a very thin kind of tail plane. I quite like it. Um, uh, I do like unconventional aircraft. People often ask me in the comments, um, you seem to fe feature a lot of uh, real aircraft when I send you things that aren't based on real things. And absolutely, I know I have a bit of an affinity for real aircraft because they just look so good. Um, and these look pretty cool, though. Um, but yeah, send me anything. And if it's good, I'll use it. Um, but yes, and they will be going up against an F-22. And it, conventional aircraft, but 
You know I can't resist F22s, they're just so beautiful, and yeah, this is a really nice rendition. This comes to me from um, Owen, and uh, it's just, uh, it's, uh, it's so good. <laughs> anyway, let's just get them in the air. Um, I did have to put a little more fuel in these because they came kind of light. My rule of thumb is I go roughly, I'm not, I don't go too crazy get, about getting it exact, but I, I say roughly 400 units of fuel per engine makes it relatively fair. Because if someone sends something with just no fuel in it, then, you know, it's obviously gonna win. These guys dive over here, are they gonna stick in the air? Um, yeah, ooh, these look pretty maneuverable. They're just kind of flicking around quite nicely. Having trouble gaining altitude. Looks like he's locked in a bit of a spin, buddy! Okay, so he crashed, uh, and then he almost crashed. Hmm, let's let's try that again, you know? Let's just give it a benefit of the doubt, say that that was, uh, say that, that was, you know, just a mistake. A lot of wing surfaces, they might have trouble. Ooh, that guy blew himself up. Okay, not exactly sure what happened there. I guess he blew himself up with a missile? Um, I don't know. Maybe, should we try this again? Yeah, okay, I gave the other ones the benefit of the... Okay, that guy blew up. Let's just see how it goes. It looks like this guy might win anyway. And if he wins after that guy killed himself, we'll see. But maybe if it's... Ooh, he's gonna get shot. Ooh, he's gonna be shot, but he's moving out of it. Is he gonna get away? Is he gonna be shredded? Is he gonna... Ooh, 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 loses an engine. But that guy goes in front of him. If he gets the kill now, that will be the greatest upset in the history of sport. I know I say that quite a lot, but um, I truly do believe it. Come on, fuck him up, fuck him up. This will be a great victory if I don't even have to restart you. Come on. <laughs> I'm rooting for this just because then I don't have to do this again. <laughs> and looks like we might just light him up. Oh, hey. Oh, no. Oh, lost some wing, but he's fine. This guy can really take hits. Oh, and he's shredded. However. Now, okay. I'm thinking we do it again because that guy exploded inexplicably and we gave these guys the benefit of the doubt. So let's try it one more time. Anyway, I was going to say about how I was shit-talking the F-35 last time. People were like, it's a stealth fighter, it's not a dogfighter. It'll be a fine aircraft. And I agree. I also did say, I did mention last time about how I don't think dogfighting happens a lot anymore for, you know, kind of big NATO countries. I'm sure it does occasionally. I mean, I'm, no, I'm not in the military, I don't know, but yeah. Um, okay, so they're coming in, there's footage, the, the game is stopping and starting a lot, that's kind of annoying, but um, I'm sure that'll resolve itself. Um, yeah, alright, okay, so missiles flying in, everyone's fine, both F-22s not destroyed, both of these guys haven't crashed, the- Oh, almost takes a missile to the face, that guy almost crashes again, missile goes in, missile goes in, that guy flips out like crazy, um, yeah, this guy's pretty maneuverable. It's, it's dangerous, but it seems effective. You're a maverick. Um, oh, oh, he's lining up. Oh shit, son. Will he take down the F-22? The F-22s have never done particularly well in this competition. Um, I've, I've featured a lot of them, and none of them have really done particularly well. But uh, we'll see. How's, where's the other F-22? Um, diving down onto one of the... Uh, one of these guys, maybe pushing him into the ground. Um, That'd be pretty- ooh, ooh, can't get a missile away. Looks like the other F-22's turned to fight him. Is he gonna- is he gonna do it? I- I- I can hardly keep track of where things are. Um, literally no idea. So we've got an F-22, is Tiger, and we've got a- I don't even know, the other one's disappeared. It's- it's a magic man. This guy is- what's he doing? Diving towards the ground, taking fire. I don't know why the game's stopping and starting so much. I- I apologize. Ooh! One of them's been taken down. I didn't see it, but it happened. Up there, looks like it was a missile kill. And now it's just two, it's two on one. This guy's, I don't know, I, I have little faith, he flips out too much. But he's actually very stable once he's in flight. But it just, I don't know what happens when they take off. It just seems to be kind of screwy. You never know, this guy has proven himself to be fairly maneuverable, but there are two F-22s, it's not looking fantastic. And there is a missile coming in. Something's hitting the ground and, oh, missile takes it. Ooh. Maybe not so good at dodging the missiles. Two missile kills, which is probably how the F-22 would uh, work in real life, because um, because it's a stealth fighter, it's beyond visual range. Anyway, so the F-22s will be going to the next round. Let's move on to the next craft and hope we don't have to do that one three times. So the next craft that will be going up will be the CF-44 and the F-51 Dominator. The CF-54 coming to me from an... Fuck. Uh, <laughs> Andrew's Edge? 
and and Ander. Okay, buddy, I'm gonna screw up your name real bad, but it's like Andrzej. It's A N D R Z E J. Okay, I'm sorry. I I always screw up names, but that's there's not enough vowels in your name, so points down for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh jeez. Anyway, no, but these are really cool craft. So thank you to man. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh uh, no, but no, these are really cool. Um, they kind of look, I don't know, almost, yeah, almost a little bit sukhoi, right? Um, but they're kind of long and look quite nice and the air intakes are done really, really well. There's two ram intakes kind of at this angle which creates this really cool opening. And these just, they're really interesting looking jets and I really like them. And they will be going up against the F-51 Dominator, coming to me from Carl, who I think has submitted to me a lot of things. But uh, yeah, these apparently these are pretty good, and uh, let's see how they do. Let's just get them in the air before I ramble and screw up people's names, and you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. But yes. So who will win? These kind of big flying wing type aircraft, you know, could be quite good. These looking pretty cool. I mean, they're fairly, you know, sort of conventional, but again, look like almost near future, like fu future Sukhois maybe, um, or kind of upcoming Sukhois, something like that. Um, and yeah, they're getting into position now, hopefully they'll actually start at the set right distance. Last time it was like 13 kilometers or something, I don't know, the whole of last, the last bit was a mess, but hopefully this will go better. Um, I've also, oh no, they do have a radar, I thought they didn't for a second, I was terribly worried. Um, but yeah, it looks like they're in starting position now, these guys turn around quite quickly. Dominators also turning around quickly. This this is anyone's game. They're both fairly big aircraft. These wider, but these quite long might have difficulty kind of pulling out of uh, pulling away from missiles. But uh, we'll see. You know I hate missile kills. They're very boring. Um, but uh, still, oh, it's a lot as a cluster coming for both of them. It looks like um, game stopping and starting some more. I think that's maybe just due to the flares. This guy going right down. Almost crashes. Oh, does crash. Oh, that that looks like a fairly legitimate kill to me, though. He was pushed into a uh, pushed into a crash by missiles. So we're going to keep going and see how this guy does now. I'm firing off more missiles. Got more coming in. Manages to dodge them. It looks like we're about to get into gun range with one of the dominators. Um, the other one being chased off by missiles. Another missile coming in. Ooh, ah, he, ho, hey, who say oh. <laughs> looks like we're okay and now. Oh, the Dominator right on us, but can't turn as quickly, and it looks like it's just lost us. This guy looks like he'll probably win turning fights, but against two craft, he might have trouble. Um, and starting to open fire now. Missile going in. Ooh, ooh almost gets the uh, Dominator with that. Oh, we've got one on our tail. That's not good. It's not great. It's right there. Oh, and the other one. Oh, wow, that looks so cool when he pulls up onto our tail. That's awesome. Um, but this guy, oh, trying to shake him, but the Dominator is sticking really nicely. This is a, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, oh, is he going to get the kill? Has he, has he done the switcheroo? Has he pulled the good old switcheroo maneuver? That's what the US Air Force calls it, by the way. Um, switcheroo maneuver. Um, I, that's a fact. Um, ooh, almost hit each other in the air. It looks like this guy did have an opportunity to get a kill, but didn't take it. Um, or maybe he just couldn't because they weren't quite close. And he lights up the EF, uh, he lights up the Dominator, and now it's one on one, unless this guy's still flying, which he is, okay? You know, whatever, who cares? We've seen a lot of crazy bullshit happen in this competition. Who knows who's gonna win? But it looks like this guy is almost down and out now. But this guy right on this EF44's tail. But this guy proving to be a very good dogfighter, but still focusing on this almost dead um, Dominator. Looks like he's oh, like point blank range with a 20 millimeter Gatling gun, oh, but that guy just drops onto our tail. Wow, these both of these aircraft really incredible and put on a really nice show. But it looks like the Dominator might just line up a shot. Will he? He's not taking a shot. Does he have a gun? He does. Why aren't you using it, buddy? You got ammo? No ammo? Huh? In for the ammo's on though, right? Maybe he's had it shot off. That can happen. I have seen that happen before. I doubt someone will put no ammo in their craft. So it looks like this guy's basically just got to get behind him and uh, take him out. And oh, it looks like that might happen. Wow, this is a crazy chase. It would be really good that this guy had some ammo. It must have just been either shot off or not included. Include ammo, and if you did, then, you know, shit happens. 
But uh, okay, looks like the turning match of just beauty has uh, has ended, and now they're just leaving. They're like, you know what? Let's put down our weapons. Let's just hug it out. Let's hug it out, man. Let's hug it out in our jets. Um, but that's don't hug things out in jets. That's how you die, I bet. Um, <laughs> but he's shredded. Oh, real shame this guy couldn't fire. I'm going to assume that he had his uh, ammo stripped off because I think I did see them firing. But um, yeah. Looks like the CFA, the CFA 44 is going through, which, you know, pretty cool. It's a, it's a nice looking aircraft. Um, so anyway, yes, let's move on to the final two aircraft of round one. And congratulations to, oh fuck, the guy with a hard name to say. <laughs> so the final craft that will be going up in round one are the TK-15 BD, which I think just means that it's the armed version. But yes, the TK-15, this comes to me from Darkus. I'm going to say Darkus. It's kind of an H and a C. Darkus? Dark? Darkus? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, these are, I guess, based sort of on Sukhois. And you know how I love me some Sukhois. Um, and yeah, they're pretty cool. They're very sleek, very nice, kind of... Just... They're just, they're just really good renditions of Sukhois, and you know how much I love that. Um, and yes, and we've got the KU-33s, which come to me from um, Dark Lance. Uh, these are, again, you know, probably some SU-33s, I want to say. Uh, and they look really nice. They're, there's something about them. They're, they're quite wide, but they actually look quite sleek, especially from the side. I don't exactly know what I like about these, but I do really like them. Um, I just realized, though, they don't have a radome. So I'm going to go put a radome on them, and then we're going to do this. So yes, now they have a radome on them. I'm going to start the competition, get them into the air. These engines aren't going. It's fine. It'll be fine. It'll take off. <laughs> yeah, weirdly, these are called uh, KU-33 Clean CFG. I don't know what that means. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's uh, something to do with the configuration, but I don't know, man. But yeah, so, these are uh, a couple of, couple of Sukhois going up against each other. You know, that's my favorite thing. I love some Sukhois. Um, although I do also love F-42s as we've established! Oh my god! <laughs> they hit each other. That was so, like, took so long to happen. It was like, oh god. But it worked out fine. It worked out better than expected. All right, we're almost at a competition range, and they'll fight. God damn, BD Armory's AI is just it's just so much fun. It just kind of likes to fuck with you, I think. <laughs> oh, BD, you crazy. Um, anyway, so these guys going in. They've turned both pretty quickly, it appears. I'm going to start letting up some missiles, opening up. I think these guys are more heavily armed over here, the TK-15s, because I had to arm these myself. That's why they didn't have a radar briefly, because sometimes I forget things. But yeah, so that might go, uh, you know, might not be uh, super advantageous, but as we know, often missiles uh, missiles are the less frequent things to get kills. Yeah, the footage is still, the, the game's still kind of like janking up. I don't know what that's about. Um, oh, it's fine now. Oh, hey, one of them got taken down. One of the KU-33s got taken down by a missile. Shit, son. I think it's probably just the amount of missiles on the, is he gonna get out of here? Is he gonna get out of here? Ooh, just about, and now it looks like they're in actual dogfighting range. You know, actual fun. And then he gets shredded by bullets and uh, missiles, and the TK-15 takes it pretty decisively. But yeah, so that is round one done. Let's move on to the second round, where the winners of the first round will fight each other. So yes, we are into the semi-final. The first round, of course, will be the winner from the first and second rounds. The FF-108 and the F-22. Let's get them into the air. Let's get right into the news into the, right into the dogfight, you know, dog killer keemstar, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, I was trying to turn killer keemstar into something about dogfighting, because you know, there's killer, and it doesn't matter, anyway, let's just get right into the air, uh, and forget about Mr. Meme Star. alright, so, um, yeah, no idea who's going to win, the F-22s seemed pretty good, but these guys, I, I actually don't remember, it was a long time ago, <laughs> like a whole, I don't know, like a half hour, you know, a lot of stuff's happened since then, a lot of things have exploded, I, uh, yeah. Anyway, right, we'll see. Uh, it's often hard to call these dogfights. Um, like that time I thought in in Series 1 where I thought that plane was going to absolutely fail and then it, like, falcon punched something. It was crazy. Anyway, all right, it's looking like missiles are going to happen. These guys are pretty lightly armed with missiles because, of course, um, well, they're quite small planes. These guys are bigger, easier to hit, but get the advantage of having more missiles. Which is best? Who knows? Let's find out. Do they know things? Let's find out. Fuck, I, forgot. I was trying to like reference the, that uh, Bojack Horseman and then I forgot the thing. You know, it's like, celebrities, what do they know? Do they know things? Let's find out. So 
game show. Watch Bojack Horseman, it's a great show. Um, and it's come back for season three! Fuck yeah! Um, no one's dead yet, which is good, because I was just talking about Bojack Horseman for some reason. You know, there's only so much you can say about things firing missiles, and it looks like none of them are hitting. Oh, that one's coming in pretty close, though, and doesn't hit. Looks like everyone's alive. More missiles, though. Jesus, these F-22s are laden with missiles. Another missile coming to this guy. Looks good, though. Getting into gun range. Getting into... Ooh, look, thought that guy flipped out for a second. And he's about to light up the F-22. Now it's just one left. This guy... Actually still sort of alive, but no engines. Um, this guy got a single missile left, taking fire from below, flips out, and takes some fire right in the belly. Wow! Pretty decisive. Um, a bunch of jousting with missiles, and then a good, quick dogfight. These guys just more maneuverable, I guess. Probably just faster, because they're smaller. But yes, anyway, so the F-20, the, not the F-22, the FF-108 will be going to the final of this episode. But let's find out what it will be going up against. Right, so the second round of the semi-final is, of course, the CF-44s, these beautiful-looking craft, versus these other beautiful-looking craft, the TK-15s. Um, I've just noticed, actually, um, as I get these into the air, that these guys' guns are mounted kind of in the fuselage. It's, it's uh, just a really cool, slightly different, but really interesting-looking craft, and I really like it. And we'll see how it does against something that can actually shoot back. Um, yes. So they'll get into the air. I have, again, no idea. It's very hard to tell when it's like two really top dogfighters against each other. Um, these two look so pretty with their cool air intakes. That's just, that's just really cool little bit of designage. Um, ooh, almost hits the ocean. Very uncontrollable aircraft today. Someone just exploded themselves. Um, how did that even happen? Okay, let's start this again. I mean, they kind of fired a missile. What? Maybe they hit each other? I genuinely have no idea. Yeah, it looks like they have, because one of the wings is... Okay, this time, don't fly into each other! Alright, oh, they do look nice flying in formation, though. Are these guys holding it together nicely? Yeah, both good at formation flying. That's always a good sign when they're controllable enough to fly in a, you know, good-looking formation. Alright, the competition's starting. They go high, probably not the quickest way to turn. But, ooh, beautiful. So cool. Uh, KSP is so good at just being kind of a game that is almost like an engine for other games. I mean, you know, like Fall of Kerbin and this. It's just a real physics-based games are just fantastic for making other games out of. Um, and the mod development scene in KSP is insane. Like it's 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 it must be like a full-time job keeping your mod updated for uh, for KSP. Um, yeah. Again, the game is so stoppy. I really do apologize for that. That's that's kind of annoying. It's kind of on and off as well. But uh, I guess when there's a lot of missiles in the air and a lot of chaff and things, it's just hard to process? I don't know, actually. Why is it... I don't know. These guys look like these actually almost being chased into the ground by missiles. But it does just about pull out. Um, looks like a missile explodes over there. More missiles going in. This guy heading the wrong way. Probably going to leave this guy by himself when he enters the dogfight. Going to be to his disadvantage, but that's really just good planning by the pilots of the CFAs, which are actually look like just about stalling at this point, but uh, yeah, they've kind of split the pack quite nicely, which is good, because it looks like that guy did just stall a little bit, but really brought it back. Maybe it was just kind of like a hyper-maneuverable maneuver. Oh, I think I might be giving BD Armour's code uh, a little bit too much... Uh, uh, ooh! Ooh, shit. Takes a missile to the underneath while trying to line up a shot. Now it's two on one. Ooh, I actually kind of, in my head, was giving it a little bit to these guys. I don't know. But uh, it looks like these guys are doing well. They split the pack very well. I think it's tacti a tactical victory here, which uh, it's always interesting to see. Um, yeah, missile coming in again. Oh, just misses. Yeah. Oh, they missed by yeah about a country mile. Uh, everyone's got a question. It's like, what the fuck is a country mile? It's like it's a British expression. Um, that's weird. I, I think I probably do use quite a lot of British expressions. Um, yeah. Looks like these guys are trying to make chase, but this guy's just fucking with them over here. When they get into range, this guy's got a lot of sidewinders. Um, but it looks like the CFAs are closing in now. Ooh, starting to light up. Maybe light him up with uh, with sidewinders. But they look like they're going to miss. But he is on him now. Ooh, eh? Ooh, a uh, bit of a joust. Both of them explode. This guy's still alive, but with one engine, something else just kind of explodes from heating. But he is still flying quite well, I have to say. That is... Ooh... God, these two aircraft, they're just so beautifully maneuverable, these CFAs, and he lights them up. I have to say, I, I, ooh, shit, yeah, it looks like, 
Oh my god, fucking hell. <laughs> that was awesome. Wow, yeah, this guy only slightly damaged but can't fly without one engine. So yeah, CFAs will be going to the final. Um, I actually didn't expect that. I thought they were a little too big and would be more kind of missile spongy, but apparently not. So let's move on to the final. So here we are at the final of episode two. We had the FF-108 Rapiers, which of course were from Kobe, um, going up against the CFA-44s, which come to me from Andrej. And... I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's just get him into the air. I kind of think these, these lose so I don't have to attempt to say his name again. And... I'm just gonna... Let's just watch the dog fight. You know, doesn't matter about names. But yes, both of these proven themselves to be incredible turn fighters. Very good at dodging missiles. You know, fairly tactically good. These much smaller, probably a little more nippy. But these do a very good job of consistently turning well. And they are just really good dogfighters. And I am very excited to see this final and see who goes to the grand finale. That will be, well, that will be pretty awesome. The grand finale of this series. Oof. Last one was pretty good, though. Um, yeah. Okay, so they're getting into a competition range, turning on each other. I'm hoping this isn't going to be a missile kills, because that's so lame. <laughs> Missiles coming away, though, unless one of them exploded. Please don't have... God fucking damn it. Do this again. Anyway, yeah. Oh, fucking hell, guys. Oh, overconfident. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, they really like to stress me out. I love it when the craft do that. Like, that time they did, like, a, those MiGs did, like, a tactical fist bump. God. I think Beauty Armory, the good developers have started writing code in there just to, like, stress me out in these videos. <laughs> oh, wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me. Um... I don't know why I say that. I don't know the guys. I don't know that they're assholes. <laughs> they're probably very nice people, but it would be funny if they did that. Like, function, stress tape out. Um, okay. Right. Missiles away. No one's just exploded randomly yet, I don't think. It's hard to tell, though. There's a lot of crap in the air. Looks like we're all good. Everyone's diving to avoid missiles. These guys are diving quite low. Giving up a lot of altitude, but it will allow you to... Dodge missiles fairly effectively. Looks like a couple are going in on the CFAs. Um, again, very stoppy when there's a lot of missiles in the air. Oh, this guy's been chased into the ground, though. Will he pull out in time? He will not! Ooh. As we know, if you're chased into the ground by missiles, that is legitimate. I find that to be a totally legitimate way of killing people in a dogfight. Um, Alright, yeah, we've got another slurry of missiles coming in. Oh, I don't want this to be just missile kills, though. That'd be so lame. Alright, you just avoid these. Keep popping chaff. Get out of here, turn around, and we'll have the sickest dogfight ever. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, wow! Like, actually manually avoids them, but now the CFAs are coming in like hounds, opening up with their 20 millimeters. This guy's too close to the ground to really pull a lot of evasive maneuvers, and they just shred him. Jesus. These guys, I don't know what it is. They almost, they're almost just too tactical. But yeah, these are the victory, the victors which I was semi not hoping for because now I have to say congratulations Andrzej and and Andrzej I'm going to say Andrzej that sounds I'm so sorry <laughs> yeah so the CFA 44s will be going to the grand finale of uh, fighter jet showdown series 2 and they've done a really good job I have to say I don't know how but they're just so good at like splitting people apart with missiles and then coming in and just shredding them. They're put, they're amazing turn fighters. They're just skilled long range beyond visual range fighters. I don't know. They're just very good. So thank you so much to Andrzej. Um I'm so sorry for butchering your name, but your uh, your recompense for that is your fighters will be in the finale of Fighter Jet Show in season two. I hope you have all enjoyed this. As I said earlier, I am kind of working through the backlog of crafts I have and the new ones that come in. So your craft could appear, you know, might not, might appear, I don't know, it's it's hard to say. But I have a lot of them, so I'm just kind of trying to go through, you know, the old ones and the new ones so everyone gets something in, you know. I'm working on it. Um, so yeah, I, but I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you will come back for future episodes and keep getting those crafts sent in. There may be a normal subscriber designs at some point or more fighter jet showdown. I don't know. I'm just, as I said, I'm kind of doing the normal fighter, the normal subscriber designs kind of as and when I feel like it because I get mostly fighter jets now. 
And uh, yeah, hopefully these will be coming out more frequently, but it's hard to say. There is kind of a lot of stuff going on in my life right now. So yeah, but as I said, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, this has been Casper with Tape. I will see you next time.